So the plan for today is we're going to be doing the first ever hangout. So I think we're going to do Bennett's hangout today. Um, I was thinking about doing them in a specific order. Uh, maybe like order of release, but I'm not sure. But I think Bennett is a good one to start with. You guys have told me that Bennett's is a really, really good one to start with as well. So I'm very confident that we're going to have a good time with this. I was here when they first got introduced, but I've never done one. So I'm really excited. So without further ado, let's jump into it. If we go into our journal, we've got story quests. Yes, I already did unlock Bennett's. So I think I just click on it. Yes. Begin hangout. Okay, go to the front desk of the Adventurers Guild. All right, well, there he is. He's already here. Look at him. Oh, it's you. Didn't think I'd be running into you here. <laughs> I guess it's my lucky day. Oh! How are your adventures going lately? Did you come here to get a new commission from Catherine or to get paid? Get that bread! And where are you going after this? Right, you've got a really exciting adventure lined up, huh? A lot of questions. A lot of questions from my Benny boy. Nice to meet you, Bennett. Oh, I'm talking too much, aren't I? I'm sorry. I was just so excited to run into someone I admire so much. And, uh, maybe a little starstruck, too. Oh, <laughs> he's so cute. You're that excited to see me, dude? Of course. You're the mysterious traveler, the hero who quelled the storm terror crisis, and the leader of your own adventure team to boot. Let's go. If I'm being honest, I'm totally jealous of all your achievements. Oh, Abraxas' adventure team. Yeah. Word's been spreading in adventurer circles for a long time now. Your adventure team shows up all over the continent. That is true. It might look like you're just handling a bunch of boring commissions. But then, as soon as something big goes down, you're always there. <laughs> That's just the coincidence. I have my reasons. Anyway, I just really envy you. You're sort of like the protagonist of this world or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, they're breaking the fourth wall. Me, on the other hand, I'm just some unlucky guy. My adventure team even. You're not just some unlucky guy. What? Uh, never mind. I shouldn't get all down in the dumps in front of someone I admire. I should be open to see what I can learn. Speaking of which, I have a favor to ask. Oh? Um, when you go adventuring later, can I come and watch? Oh! You're just going to stand there and watch? Aren't you going to give me a hand? <laughs> the first one, yeah? I guess you're just going to stand there and watch? Uh, <laughs> maybe you don't know. I'm a really unlucky person to have around. Okay, we kind of know that, but... If you brought me along on an adventure, my bad luck would probably just screw everything up. No. I don't want to get you into any trouble. So, just let me watch from the sidelines. That'd be good enough for me. Oh, okay, buddy. If that makes you feel better, um, we could just do something else. That's true. Yeah, well, I wonder what you would say. Hmm? Something else? Uh. I guess you're right. Even just the chance to talk with you would be great, too. Yeah, let's forget about adventuring for now. Oh. But, uh, what would we do instead? Um. Apart from going on adventures, the only other thing I do is take care of my dads in the adventurer skill. Oh. So, I really can't think of anything else to do besides adventuring. Okay, hmm. All right. I feel like whatever we do, as long as you're involved, it'll be totally worth it. Yes. Uh, but don't forget, I'll be bringing my bad luck with me. No. So it probably won't be a very fun trip. Oh, <laughs> Benny, it's okay, dude. As long as you don't cause too much trouble, it won't bother me. I'm looking forward to it. It won't bother me. That's good. That's good. I was afraid you'd back out. So, where are we gonna go? Hang around the town. How about walk in the wild? Chat, where are we going? I'll let chat decide. Okay, I'm seeing a lot of wilds. So let's go in the wild then. That sounds like a good idea. How about walk in the wild? That's a good idea. Okay. For someone like me, I'm actually way more familiar with the wilderness than the city. Especially around Mondstadt. Okay. I mean, I'm not on the same level as Fischl, who is also in the Adventurer's Guild. But that's expected, because she works in the intelligence department. Oh! Official reference? Oh, I know this gorgeous place. It's sort of a dandelion-covered meadow. <gasps> it's got a great Mondstadt feel. Do you want to check it out? Yes. Can't wait. Awesome. I was worried that it wouldn't be your thing. No, this, wherever you go, I go. Uh, shall we? Yes, we shall. Go to the dandelion meadow. Okay. I'm excited. I'm, I'm really curious as to how these work. So... It's it's like a one it's like a face to face so you see them in first person which is kind of cool so they're like directly addressing you 
I really like that concept. I wasn't expecting that, actually. <gasps> Whoa! Hi, dude! Huh. Is this definitely the right place? I'm not... <laughs> it's not quite what I expected. Uh, is this definitely the right place? Uh, what happened? It wasn't like this the last time I saw it. Uh-oh. The dandelions are all stripped bare of seeds. They still look pretty, though. Was there a windstorm? Or did some strange creature come by? I'm so sorry. Bringing you all this way for only you to end up seeing nothing. Benny, I got to see you. That's the true treasure here. Maybe scout the place out in advance next time. Why can you be so mean? You have no need to apologize. Well, that's true. But then again, the unpredictable is to be expected when my luck's involved. <laughs> oh. Well, there's not much reason to stay here anymore. But how about we take a walk around the area? Maybe we'll find something interesting. Sounds like a plan. <gasps> We're going. They're snoozing. <gasps> oh my. Loot. Hey, do you see that? There's a monster camp up ahead. I can see a whole load of treasure chests with no monsters guarding them. Mm, that feels a bit off. Could be a trap. I was hoping I'd get a chance to flex my muscles a bit. Where did all the monsters go? This is weird. Oh? For me, this kind of good fortune is super rare. It must be because you're here. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go check it out. Ooh, I wonder what goodies are hidden in those chests. Primos? Primos, hello? Oh, it, it's too good to be true. Surely, Bennett. Surely there's not Primos in here. A bloomin' radish? Uh, another radish, okay. Why are these chests so empty? It looks like there's nothing good left in them. A cabbage? And, um... I said it! What a letdown! Yo, we're one more of Richard <laughs> Let's go! Ben, I found a coin! <sighs> we didn't miss any, right? How could this be? <laughs> I can't believe there was nothing good after all. I mean, we got, look, we got a coin. No wonder there was no monsters guarding them. What's the problem? We got so much stuff today. We should be happy. How come you look so down? <laughs> uh, does that mean you usually... Surely not. Hmm? Chests are always like this, aren't they? Oh no, Benny! A few loose mora, occasionally a cabbage, maybe a radish or something. Benny's been missing out on all those freemos, chat! A bit of mora and some ingredients to fill our stomachs? That's good enough for me. You know what? That's a really good way of looking at it, Bennett. You know what? The kind I stand. of chests you mentioned that have weapons, artifacts, or some other treasures inside, aren't they super, super rare? I've only seen them in places that are so dangerous you'd have to risk life and limb to get there. Um, yeah, you're right. Right? So let's not ask for too much. Let's keep walking. Who knows when the monsters might return. It was too good to be true. Shall we? We shall. Look at him run! Free as the wind! Go, Benny, go! Benny's the kind of guy that hits hard pity every banner, and it makes me sad. It's so nice here. The breeze is so comforting. Really lifts my mood. I've been adventuring alone for a long time. Oh. It feels so nice to have company. Honestly, I miss it a lot. <laughs> Dude! Oh, uh, not that I'm super lonely or anything. I've got my dads to keep me company when I'm not out adventuring. Oh. Actually, did I tell you about my dads already? You mentioned them earlier, Back but you didn't the say day, it. They were all great adventurers. They've got so many cool stories. They were all great adventurers? They were the ones who rescued me from a perilous place when I was just a baby. And together, they raised me. Oh. Now, they're all old and frail. Some of them can't even walk by themselves anymore. So, it's my turn to take care of them. That sounds good, dude. I'd love to take you to meet them sometime. You'd be blown away by some of their stories. Sounds like there's a lot I can learn. Isn't that tough on you, right? I mean, it sounds like there's a lot I can learn. Absolutely. I picked up most of my adventure expertise from them. They're incredible. Aww. By the way, you... Did bring a wind glider with you today, right? Of course. The weather is so nice and the wind speed is perfect. <laughs> Why don't we take the chance to go for a glide? As he says that, it starts raining. 
<laughs> is that that's gotta be that's got that's on purpose right uh, yeah, okay i was gonna say there's no way that that is that is a coincidence oh. bennett come on man your bad luck is getting ridiculous oh no we better not get struck by lightning uh, sorry i didn't see this coming not to this extent at least oh no well it seems that we'd better give up on that idea let's go do something else okay oh. bennett Jack! Dude! Hi, Jack. Is something going on? Are you here to see me? Some of the older adventurers in the guild are really hurting from their arthritis again. It could be because of the humidity today. Oh. You mean my dad's? That's too bad. They'll need someone to take care of them. Well, you're the one who usually looks after them, right? They're all asking for you. Okay. Jack, be careful, I'll be dude. Right over. Uh, oh, wait. It's okay. This is important. Yeah. Thanks for understanding. Though, I feel pretty bad leaving you here. That's okay, dude. We'd better hurry back. They're all waiting for you. Okay. Okay, sure. Well, I have to go now. Let me treat you to something next time. Oh. Bye. Bye, Benny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so cute. How come is... the weather suddenly brightened up the second Benny? Who knows, Paimon? I guess that's one of the endings. That was short and sweet. I like that a lot. So that's ending one. So ending one of six. Okay, that makes sense. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. You can put those peaches in your teapot? No way. That's so cute. Benny, I'm coming back. Okay, so do I just want to do the opposite to everything that I did just to see what happens? Okay, you are? The name's Bennett. I'm your run-of-the-mill adventurer from Mondstadt. Okay, so I, yeah, I've just noticed you said there's, I've got hearts up here. So I'm assuming I can upset him? Sure, let's go on an adventure. Really? I didn't mishear you, did I? Okay, so we, we can go on an adventure? You mean, go adventure with you? Just like we do if I was on your adventure team? Yes. Wow. I never thought I'd get an opportunity like this. Oh, Right, so I'm going to start going from what I would say again, just purely because when I think we're, this is a new path. So I've always wanted to go adventuring with you too. Aw, oh, shucks. Hearing you say that has got me all flustered. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm happy to hear it. By the way, since we've got this rare chance to work together, let me share some recent intel with you. Oh? According to my friend Fischl in the guild, a mysterious and dangerous ruin has recently been discovered. <gasps> Based on how the guild ranks the difficulty of its commissions, it's probably between a rank B and a rank A. Okay. Normally, I wouldn't feel confident about taking on this level of commission. After all, with my poor luck, it's safer for me to take on commissions that are a few notches lower than my actual ability. <laughs> <laughs> that makes but sense. But since you'll be joining me this time, it'll be a piece of cake, right? Okay, so just defeating Stormterror count as an S rank commission. Would stealing the Holy Liar de Hamel count as S, S rank? Uh, let's do Stormterror. Of course. Defeating Stormterror puts you on par with Guildmaster Cyrus in my mind. Wow, okay. <laughs> By the way, this ruin might be a dangerous one, but that usually means there'll be some great treasure hidden inside. I can't wait. Hey. Oh, uh. Do you usually make some food before you set out on an adventure? I usually have some. Uh, y yes? Oh, no. Hmm. The cautious choice. No wonder you're so good at this. Seems I really can learn a few things from you. <laughs> oh. In that case, as per your tradition, let's get cooking. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. I actually invented a pretty nice dish recently. I can't say it's super tasty, but I think it'd be perfect for an adventure. So, how about I show you how to make it? Okay, yeah, nice. Thank you. Oh, wait till you see. Oh, uh, huh. ingredients seem to be in short supply. <laughs> Uh-oh. I'm really sorry. I probably need your help to get some. That's okay, dude. The ingredients needed for this dish are mint, radish, and slime condensate. One of each, please. Okay. You got that, right? I'll wait for you near the pot at Good Hunter. Come find me when you're done collecting. Okay. Oh, so I wonder, is this a longer end? Like, is this a longer ending? Here you go, Bennett. You got them all? That's fantastic. 
You've really outdone yourself. What exactly are you making, Bennett? Now that we've got our ingredients, allow me to handle the cooking. Oh no. But something doesn't feel it's right. It's done. I forgot the exact order you're supposed to add the ingredients in, but it should be all right. I'll pack it up and leave it with you until we get to the ruins. Are you sure this is okay to eat? I think so. Should be pretty much basically the same as when I first came up with it. So, yep. Okay. Well, now that the food is ready, let's head for those mysterious ruins. Sounds good. Ominous dish. <laughs> that, uh, that's, uh, mm, I don't know if I, uh, the fact that it's glowing purple probably isn't the best, uh, thing. Uh, okay. Bennett, we're gonna do great, dude. It feels pretty ordinary here. I was expecting some kind of sense of impending doom. Well, the fact that there's three giant doors behind you doesn't really give me a good feeling, but okay. Could it be that because you're here with me, I'm feeling more at ease? <laughs> Maybe. Huh. It looks like the door in the front is closed and only the door behind us is open. That mechanism must be for opening the next door, right? Yeah. Right. Well, we're on the same page at least. I'll go try to operate it. I, I think maybe I should, but okay. Just as I expected. <laughs> oh no. But now the door behind us is closed. Ah, so it is. Okay. Hmm. A true adventurer can't just barge on forward. It's also important to make sure there is a way back. That's what my dads always say. Oh. Let me try the mechanism one more time. Uh, okay. Hmm. It seems to be jammed. Oh no. Not what I expected, but not exactly unexpected. Yeah. This is not good. It seems that we can't get back the way we came. That's okay. But don't let it get you down. No, we'll be fine. This kind of thing happens all the time. We just have to believe that there's always a way out. Exactly. What the? What's going on? Uh. Hey, did you hear that? Hello? It sounded like it came from the door up ahead of us. Could there be other people in the ruin too? Let's go check it out. Over there. Another adventurer by the looks of it. Oh, Royce? Hello? Hello, fellow adventurer. We, like you, are here to... Bennett? Uh, Royce? It's you! Oh no. Oh please. Oh no, no, no. <laughs> oh no! I'm so happy to see you again. How are you doing? I've been thinking about you and the other guild members a lot recently. This is the worst. <sighs> Why did I have to run into you? Royce! Oh. It took me forever to get this door open. Finally, I was about to advance further in, and all of a sudden, it closes again. Oh no, did we reset it? Uh. I guess that's because I activated the mechanism just now. Oh, no. I knew it. I knew it. Of course it was you. I knew it as soon as I saw you. As long as you are around, no adventure can ever be a smooth ride. <sighs> this is turning into a very bad day. That's a bit harsh, isn't it? Who are you? And what the heck were you thinking teaming up with Bennett? Excuse me? Hey, don't fight. Don't fight. Nah, the gloves are off, Bennett. Let me introduce Royce, a former member of Benny's adventure team and an old friend of mine. Mm-hmm. Friend? I didn't even tell you I was leaving the team and you still think of me as... your friend? <sighs> Never mind. I'm a little on edge because what just happened... Right. I... Well, it was my fault. <laughs> you think? <sighs> I left because at that time, I really couldn't stand it a second longer. My adventures always used to go off without a hitch. Right. But after joining your adventure team, I was tripping and falling one day, getting struck by lightning the next. Oh, and the number of times ruins would cave in on us. Oh, God. I just couldn't dismiss it as mere coincidence anymore. <laughs> the last straw was when my left leg got hit by that random explosion that came out of nowhere. Oh. After that, I couldn't stand it anymore, both literally and figuratively. <sighs> so I left and went back to being an independent adventurer. Right. Only afterward did I start hearing the horror stories about Benny's adventure team. <sighs> yeah, Benny didn't volunteer for this bad luck. You're right. I really shouldn't have put the blame on him like that. Yes. All right, all right. It's all in the past now. 
Talking about all the bad things that happen will only make you more upset, right? Um, Royce, I still want to say sorry for all the trouble I caused you. Bennett, no! Oh. <sighs> no need to apologize to me. I've made my fair share of mistakes, too. Oh, yeah. There's one more thing I need to tell you. The door we came through on the way in also got closed. And I don't think we can get it open again. Ah. Uh. So we're probably trapped here now. What a pain in the butt. <laughs> <sighs> Bennett! <laughs> Whoa, relax! Everything always goes wrong when I'm with you. Oh, well, there's nothing I can do. <sighs> what am I going to do? I've used up all my supplies already. Relax. This is it. This is how I go, isn't it? Here, today, and all because of... Bennett! <laughs> Royce, no! Well, I don't know what I could do to apologize. If you don't mind, maybe we can share some of our supplies with you. Yeah, we got plenty. Uh, but of course, I'll have to check with my partner first. So, what do you think? I mean, I've got like 600 sweet madams in my bag. He could probably have one. I think it's fine. You cooked it. You can do whatever you want with it. <laughs> no way, you don't owe him anything. I mean, all right, he's in pretty big distress all right yeah sure you can have whatever the purple right. glowing thing is i am quite hungry i suppose i shall accept your kind offer i feel like this is a bad idea is this the supplies you were talking about why do i have the feeling that this dish is a bit suspect because you're right it's fine honestly it's been with my partner all along so it shouldn't be tainted with my bad luck oh no if that's true then Okay. Anyway, this is not a time to nitpick. Am I about to poison this man? Then, I guess I'll just have a little bite. Uh-oh. Oh, ASMR. <sighs> Tastes a little... Huh. What a strange texture. Oh, no. Ugh. What is that churning feeling in my stomach? Right. Uh, why did you eat it all in like 0.1 seconds and uh, after the first bite you probably should have gone that doesn't taste very good Damn it Um Royce hey, what's wrong Royce? <laughs> wait, we can't wait, wait, no, we did We killed him I can't believe it. <laughs> okay, wait, okay, okay. So we can we could probably choose not to give it to him, right? I did not expect that at all. Hey Benny! Alright, this time chat, we are not gonna kill him. <laughs> oh no! Royce! Yo! It's almost like I was just here a minute ago and you were alive and well and didn't die. <sighs> this is turning into a very bad day. How could you blame it all on someone else? Who are you? And what the heck were you thinking? Teaming up with Bennett! Look, I'll feed you that poison again. I don't know what I could do to apologize. If you don't mind, maybe we can share some of our supplies with you. Yeah, maybe we could. Uh, but of course, I'll have to check with my partner first. So, what do you think? No, I don't think we owe him anything. But it was because of my bad luck, though. Yeah. Uh, focus on yourself more? So, you mean... As the unlucky one, I should think of myself more? If you only think about care for others, who will take care of you? <laughs> you do have a point there. Okay, we saved it. It's just, I've been used to thinking this way for a long time. Hearing you say that, though, I feel like maybe I do need to take better care of Wait, myself. Wait, no, did I just feed it to Bennett? Uh, I'm sorry, Royce. We'll okay. have to keep the rest of our supplies for ourselves. But let's try to find a way out together. <laughs> Nobody cares about your supplies. Knowing you, they're probably cursed anyway. <laughs> uh... Yeah. I mean, he's a... As we're finding the exit together, count me out. Okay. Uh, With Bennett around, I'm sure any exit I find will only be blocked. Well... Then take care, Royce. Bye, Royce! You... 
You take care too, Bennett. Okay, investigate the vicinity and find a way out. Oh, we're actually continuing. I see. So it's obviously a puzzle, isn't it? Oh, that was so dangerous. Um. Um. I can't believe it. It's a trap. Um. Oh, what awful luck. Wait, what? I've checked every single oh. nook and cranny in this place. Oh. Still not a clue. Uh. Is there really no way out of here apart from that broken mechanism? Well, um, y I think so. Well, guess our only hope now is to wait for help. The Adventurers Guild might notice our disappearance and send someone. Then again, that depends on how lucky we are. If the rescue team takes too long to find us, we might already be. Oh, I hate feeling helpless. Sitting here waiting for the end to come. You really have zero expectations when it comes to luck. Oh, yeah. I am being a bit too pessimistic. No, come on. This isn't like me. Okay, let's double check our supplies. Our priority right now is figuring out how long we can hold out. Take out the dish I packed. Uh, oh no. It's probably a little late for this, but. Benny, don't eat it. It looks kind of strange. Hmm. Is there really something wrong with my cooking? You might get food poisoning if you eat it. Ah, uh, this is bad. This is all we've got in terms of supplies. Oh, please don't eat it. I should have thought this through more. Hey, wait a minute. Uh, maybe we can find another use for it. Like what? Long story short, I once got injured when I was in this severely dangerous place and I got knocked unconscious. I really thought that was going to be the end of me. But turns out that's not how it went. Instead... According to Guildmaster Cyrus, who rescued me, after I lost consciousness, it was as if my bad luck just stopped affecting me. Oh. He took me back to Mondstadt without encountering any trouble at all along the way. And another time, I got knocked out in a field during a thunderstorm, but then I went the whole night without getting struck by lightning. Benny Law? I wonder if my bad luck is related to whether I'm awake or not. Or in other words... It might be my consciousness that brings me bad luck. You mean if you were to sacrifice yourself? Wait, w hang on, whoa. Not really a sacrifice. I was just thinking, maybe if I eat this strange dish, it's possible that I'll lose consciousness, right? It's possible that you'll die, dude, no! Once my bad luck is gone, surely help will be here soon. <laughs> no, you're sacrificing yourself for others again. Bennett, no way, it's just too, <laughs> it's just too tragic. No. <laughs> it's okay. It's better than dragging you and Royce down with me. No! You made a great point earlier when you said that I should take better care of myself. But right now, this is a life or death situation. <laughs> Benny, no! <sighs> Here goes. No! Benny! No! 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 <laughs> I can't believe it. Okay, so that goes that way. So I'm assuming this one is go to the town instead of the wild. Okay, so uh, we, we can do something else instead. Hmm? Something else? So this time we're going to go to the town. Cool, that would be nice. I was planning to stock up on some adventuring supplies anyway. Sounds good, as long as it's not any of that goop. Oh, sorry. I'm back to talking about adventuring again. You must think I'm so boring. No, Benny. Okay. It's okay. I like adventures too. Oh, we could change it to... No, I like adventures too. Really? Well, of course you do. You are a famous adventurer after all. Uh, how about we go to the souvenir store? With Wind Comes Glory is my favorite shop ever. Oh. What can I say? Mondstadt's where I grew up. Let's go. Let's do it. Okay. Majori! Marjorie! Oh, Marjorie! <laughs> Oh, hello, Bennett. I haven't seen you for a long time. I thought you were off adventuring in some faraway place that I've never heard of. <laughs> no, no, it's just I got myself into a tight spot out there. Ended up getting held up for quite a while. <laughs> what else is new? So, what are you looking to buy this time? Oh, I was just checking in to see if the stuff I ordered last time was ready. Thought I'd bring my friend along. Oh. You mean... Herman's custom adventure map? That's right. An adventure map drawn personally by Herman, the great adventurer. 
It shows loads of recommended places for adventuring, and with his comments, too. Well, it did arrive, but unfortunately, the cart did Dover in a puddle on the way here. Of course it did. Most of the goods were fine, but since the adventure map was an ink drawing, it's completely ruined. Right. What? Oh, shoot. That's such a shame. Aw. We'll do... Yeah, poor Marjorie. Yes, I am the one who has to bear the loss after all. <sighs> Maybe I should reconsider whether I'm happy to accept orders from Bennett in the future. Oh no! Okay, well, do you have any alchemist's goggles? I've been thinking about replacing the old goggles on my head for a long time. I heard that there's a new type of goggles made specially for alchemists. When you wear them, you can see all the elements, even the slightest traces of elemental energy. That's so cool! I feel like I could do all of that already. Yeah, uh, that's quite useful. Oh, I'm afraid these alchemist goggles you refer to are just a rumor. I talked to that alchemist, Timaeus. He told me there's no such thing. Oh. Oh, are you kidding me? My hopes dashed yet again. Ben, I just want to hug you, dude. I feel so bad for him. Well... How about some slime gel gloves? They exist, right? I saw an adventurer using them once. No matter what the weather, they can grip onto rock when climbing. I call them non-slip gloves. Right. Those do exist. Oh. Unfortunately, we sold out of them just yesterday. They're quite a popular product. Uh-oh. Uh, I don't think we're going to get anything here. <laughs> uh, it's okay. No big deal. I'm pretty much used to coming home empty-handed when I go shopping. Don't let it bother you. Oh, hey, how about I treat you to a meal at Good Hunter? Uh, do we really want to risk food again? We've been hanging out for a while now. You must be getting hungry, right? Let's go. Hi, Sarah. Table for two, please. Yes. Ah, uh, I'm so sorry. I don't think we'll be able to serve you two today. Oh. Huh? How come? It doesn't seem really busy here. <sighs> Well, how can I put this? Just before you two arrived, we received an order. Is it from Kaya again? An entire delegation from Snezhnaya has come to stay at the Goth Grand Hotel, and they asked us to provide a meal service. <laughs> I was joking, but uh, yeah, Kaya's massive order was for the Grand Goth, the Goth Grand Grand Goth Hotel. Go tell. So, although you might not see many people here, the kitchen is in fact busier than it's ever been. Right. <sighs> They really know how to rope people into doing things for them. If only they hadn't offered to pay so much. I bet it's this pesky Faturi again. Oh, I've actually never had any dealings with them. But I have heard that they're arrogant and aggressive. A little bit. In which case, there probably isn't much we can do about it. Well, how about we just head to Mondstadt General Goods? We can at least get some basic adventure supplies. What do you think? You're in, right? <laughs> let's go. Let's do it. Come on, Benny. Let's go. Hmm. Yuri. That's strange. The owner, Blanche, isn't here. Hmm. That's really rare. Let's huh. go over there and see what that sign says. What's that general good special offer? 50% off all items. Well, that seems pretty good. Let me guess the sold out. Wow. Is this for real? A discount? Don't most places have a sale every now and then? I mean, sure, but not when I'm around. <laughs> I've never had such good luck before. <gasps> <laughs> it must be because I'm with you. Wow, lucky folk really have a different. It's a bit of an exaggeration. Then again, any discount's a bit meaningless without Blanche being here. Shall we wait here for a while? I guess. When Blanche comes back, I'm gonna buy a bunch. Okay. After all, this is a rare opportunity, especially for someone like me. <sighs> Blanche is taking quite a while. He stood like that the whole time, just... <laughs> it must be an emergency. I feel like she hardly ever leaves the counter. I have a bad feeling about this. Oh, really? Don't worry. If we manage to catch a sale, today's gotta be a good day. Patience is a virtue for adventurers, too. There's no rush. Do you think that... Blanche is in some kind of trouble? I hope not. I'm getting a bit worried. The 50% discount is a big deal, but compared to Blanche's safety, I mean... Yeah, it's been a bit too long. Hmm. It's probably just all this waiting around making my imagination run wild, I guess. 
Come on, snap out of it. Uh... I don't usually say this, but do you think it's time we gave up? I don't like giving up, Bennett, but... <sighs> Land probably won't be back today, right? Bennett, I'm sorry! I guess I overestimated my luck. <laughs> Just a coincidence. That's right. I shouldn't let myself get down about it. Oh, are you waiting for me? She's back! Blanche, we've been waiting for you for ages. You're finally back. I was getting worried about you. What happened? Did you run into some kind of trouble? Oh, nothing like that. I was just sorting some things out at home. Thanks for your concern, though. But why are you two waiting anyway? I posted a noticing that we'd be closed today. Oh, no. Closed? We didn't see a sign like that. And anyway, isn't it 50% off the whole store today? That's the whole reason we waited all this time. Did we get pranked? Uh, let me check. Hmm, that's weird. It looks like someone removed the close sign. Or maybe the wind blew it away? We got pranked by Venti. The half price notice you saw was for yesterday. Sorry about that. Oh. This is so, this is so you, Bennett. Cheer up, my boy. Come on. Thanks. I'm fine. I should have seen this coming. So, so sorry. I feel like I've done nothing but waste your time all day. No matter what I do, I really can't shake my bad luck. Oh, it's getting a bit late. I don't think you can accomplish anything if you keep on hanging out with me. So, let's part ways for now. And maybe next time it'll be different. That is, if you still want to hang out with me next time. <laughs> I do! <laughs> oh, Benny! <laughs> oh. Okay, there's two more endings apparently. I know there was another branch, so there's this one, that's done. That branch is done, that branch is done, so it's this one. What was the other option? Oh, uh, do you usually make some food before you set out on an adventure? Uh, y yes. Oh no. We killed him! No! No! When we chose to go on an adventure, we could have chose to stay and cook or just leave without cooking. I guess we'll try that. So let's go on an adventure. Really? I didn't mishear you, did I? No! With my poor luck, it's safer for me to take on commissions that are a few notches lower than my actual ability. <laughs> but since you'll be joining me this time, it'll be a piece of cake, right? Stealing the holy light of Hamel. <laughs> I want to see what he says to this. There's no way the guild would issue an illegal commission like that. <laughs> um... Oh, uh, do you usually make some food before you set out on an adventure? No. No. Oh, I guess you're such a pro that you don't need to worry about that, huh? Awesome. And what are we waiting for? Let's go! The ending has to be different because both endings in this dungeon is someone eats the food. But if we don't have the food, this has to end differently. So we're back in. We're gonna go see Bennett. The door's uh, already open and there's no mechanism. It feels pretty ordinary here. I was expecting some kind of sense of impending doom. Could it be that because you're here with me, I'm feeling more at ease? <laughs> I, for one, am getting a strong sense of treasure in the area. Let's hurry up. Onward. Okay. <gasps> Royce isn't in here. Okay, okay. This room setup seems to be somewhat tricky. The things that stand out are the two mechanisms in front of us. One on the left and one on the right. Okay. But it seems like there's some sort of danger lurking around the mechanisms. If my years of adventure experience are anything to go by, it would be a disaster if we activated the wrong mechanism. <laughs> or we have to activate them both at the same time. How about letting me try it out first? Um, how about no? Mm, how can I let you face the danger alone? Huh. I could try it out myself. Or? But what do you think we should do? Let's do it your way. Take one each and activate them simultaneously. That's what I said! Well... That's a possibility. Yeah. Yeah. Let's try it then. I'll take the right side. You take the left. Okay, I'm content with that. Go stand by the mechanism. And when we're both ready, let's trigger them. All right, Benny. 
Get ready, dude. Go! Oh, big brain. Cool. The door is open. We got it right. Let's go. Good thing we went with your idea. Huh, you definitely live up to your reputation. Thanks, Bennett. And I haven't had this feeling of working together with friends in ages. Oh. I've really missed it. Benny! <laughs> anyway, let's move on. What is this? Oh, so this room has four mechanisms, which means... We need four people? That's what I'm thinking. Based on the last room, I think we're going to need four people to trigger all the mechanisms at the same time. Is this ending we just don't do it? Ah, oh, if only the rest of Benny's adventure team were here. <gasps> What's the deal with them? I hate to admit it, but the truth is, it's gone. It remains in name alone. What does it mean, it's gone? The only reason Catherine hasn't deregistered Benny's adventure team is because she took pity on me. Oh. In fact, oh, the number of adventurers on the team has been below the registration requirements for a long time already. So you're the only one left? <laughs> yeah. Royce, Heckler, and Jack were all members of Benny's adventure team. Oh! Why did Jack leave then? A lot of things went down, but it mostly ended because of my bad luck. Okay. I completely understand why they quit the team. I'd never want to put them in danger on my account. Okay, so they all quit oh. for the same reason. Don't take it personally. They're all traitors! <laughs> no, don't take it personally, dude. Yeah, I felt really let down at first. But I'm pretty much used to it now. It's okay. Even though I'm the only one left on Benny's adventure team, one day... I'm gonna make sure its name is known all over to that. You can do it, Benny boy. <laughs> Thank you. Let's focus on the problem at hand. Uh, sorry. The thought of the adventure team got me all sentimental. Aww. Now that I think about it more carefully, maybe we're making too many assumptions about the solution to these mechanisms. Okay. You mean the solution may be different from the previous room? Exactly. Okay. I'll take a quick look at these mechanisms while you look around for any other clues. Sounds good. Well, there is a reoccurring pattern, but... There doesn't seem to be anything here. Oh, it's so dusty. Paimon bets no one has been here in a long, long time. Okay. Hey, that looks like a notebook. Oh. Let's grab it and check it out with Bennett, shall we? Oh! An adventurer's notebook? What's it doing here? Maybe it's got some clues on how to crack these mechanisms. Shall we take a look? Sure. Whoa, it really does have some information about them. Eric can't hold on any longer. We have no choice but to give up. I'll leave this notebook here. Maybe this treasure is destined for someone else. As you may have noticed, the mechanism installed by the door needs someone operating it constantly. Otherwise, the mechanisms cannot be operated. But there's a catch. The person operating the mechanism by the door takes on an enormous risk. If the person, oh, if the other mechanisms are operated in the wrong sequence, that person will face dot dot dot. In other words of advice, the number of torches does not indicate the sequence of operation. We made that mistake and paid a painful price. Okay, that's good to know. So it's not top left, top right, bottom middle. The order has something to do with the position of the torches on the ground. What is the answer? Oh, oh how I wish to know, but Eric physically can't take it anymore. It's some very valuable guidance. It seems that the writer is holding something back. Yeah. Well... Since they place their hopes on future adventurers, we can't let them down. The notes say that the mechanism at the entrance needs to be controlled by someone continuously. Bennett, that's my job. But if the mechanisms are activated in the wrong sequence, the person in charge of the mechanism at the entrance will... Get hurt. Yeah, I guess that's what the notes are referring to when they say, Eric can't hold on anymore. Anyway... I'll take that role. Wait, who said that was up to you, dude? <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Getting injured is just part of my daily routine. I'm pretty used to it by now. At the very least, I should be able to last longer than this Eric guy. <laughs> okay, well, we just don't get it wrong. And more importantly, I trust you. Okay, okay. You can definitely crack this mechanism puzzle, right? I mean, come on. You're the great adventurer that I've always admired. Bennett... All right, all right. Let's just focus on solving these mechanisms. All right, puzzle archon engage. Remember what the notes say. The number of torches is not the hint for the activation sequence. Wait, I've got it. My method of thinking. 
Think of how many are on each space. There's only one in the top right. There's two on the top left. One, two. And then there's three on the bottom. One, two, three. One, two, three. Perhaps the sequence is related to the position of the torches on the ground. Well, don't put too much pressure on yourself just because you're afraid I'll get hurt. Benny, I'm afraid you'll die, my dude. <laughs> just go with your gut and do it. Oh, Benny, God, the pressure. Or is it the other way around? Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. If this is as bad as it gets, I can handle okay, it. Okay, okay, it must be the other way around then, right? Oh, okay, wait, 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 wait. One. This one. Yes! Let's go! It was the reverse effect. Okay, okay. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. You, you solved it? I did! Piece of cake! <laughs> That's the great adventure I'm talking about. Awesome! Let's go and open the chest, shall we? I can't wait. Okay. So it was three, two, one, not one, two, three. Okay, that makes sense. I mean, it, it doesn't, but it does. What's the loot? Benny, you can have it. Have it all. Luxurious chest. Wow. That was quite a haul. Yeah? This must be the proudest moment for any adventurer. <laughs> not only getting the chest, but having this golden opportunity to join you on an adventure. For me... That's a pretty major treasure already. <laughs> Aw, the feeling's mutual, Benny. Really? Then I'm honored. <laughs> but there's one other thing that I find the most amazing of all. The fact that nothing really bad happened to us this whole adventure. This is the first time in my whole adventure career that it's ever turned out this way. Okay, I might have zapped you once. But other than that, no, it went pretty well. It shows that fortunate outcomes do exist. That sounds very deep. But... I think I get what you're saying. You're saying that no matter how unlucky I might be, there'll always be times when luck is on my side, right? Yeah. Yes. This is a really big thing for me. And you know, I have a feeling that... Don't say it. It was your kindness and goodwill towards me that helped me avoid a lot of bad luck. Even find a little good luck. Benny. <laughs> it's a bit embarrassing to say that out loud, but all in all, thank you for everything. Good ending? I hope I get to go on another adventure with you soon. You too! Good ending? Good ending! Oh, <laughs> that's so cute! <gasps> Let's go! That's my canon ending chat right there. Okay, one more ending. One. More. I think there's only one more now. Okay, okay, so it's an alternate ending to- Oh no, do I have to kill him? <laughs> oh no! Maybe I make him do his choice where he goes off on his own. Like, because obviously in the first room I said, No, we'll do it together. Maybe I say no, do it on your own. Oh no. Oh, why couldn't we get the good ending last? Oh. Chat, this doesn't count. This isn't canon. <laughs> the last one was canon. This one's not. This is all a fever dream. The things that stand out are the two mechanisms in front of us. One on the left and one on the right. Yeah, I'm going to take a step back and let you deal with this. But it seems like there's some sort of danger lurking around the mechanisms. If my years of adventure experience are anything to go by, it would be a disaster if we activated the wrong mechanism. <laughs> yeah. How about letting me try it out first? Uh, go ahead, dude. We won't get anywhere just staring at him. <laughs> Leave it to me. Oh, God. Uh, but as you know, I really don't have any luck. It'll be fine. So, I'll leave it to you to decide which of these two mechanisms we should trigger. I was gonna s I was literally about to say, at least this way, it's not my fault. Because I don't have any, like, I don't have any say in what he does. He's just gonna do it. But you're actually making me choose? Um... You were gonna take the right one before, therefore you can take the right one this time. Actually, I was thinking of the one on the left. So, maybe that means that the one on the right must be the correct one. Let me see... Oh, uh, no. Something moved. What was that noise? Oh, no. It looks like all the exits are blocked. Guess I still managed to get the wrong one. This... This is really bad. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, I I'll take that. I'll take that. That's it. All right, he didn't, he didn't die. Nothing bad happened. We just got trapped in there forever. That's fine. I can deal with that, right? <laughs> is that, so have I done it? 
Is that all of Benny's endings? Yeah, let's go. Oh, that's so fun. I love, this is my favorite. That is so good. Although this one's pretty funny. <laughs> Oh, I love that. That was so good. Oh, we got two achievements. Oh, that was amazing. I can't wait to do more now. That's going to be so much fun. So there's an achievement for getting the last puzzle right first try. So let's do that. And three, two, one, go. Yeah. All right. But if the mechanisms are activated in the wrong sequence, the person in charge of the mechanism at the entrance will... Die? Uh, you think so? Surely it can't be that bad. <laughs> it says in the notes that Eric can't hold on anymore. That at least proves that it's possible to hold on up to a point. That's a good observation. Anyway, I'll take that roll. Bottom left or right? Okay, we can do that. Benny, don't worry, my dude. I got you. It's all under control. Boom. Boom. And boom. The power of luck! Yo! That's everything. Nice. Okay, so we did all of Bennett's stuff. That's amazing! 